from North Korea's young supreme commander, a menacing show of force. Kim Jong-un, in a white trench coat, supervises the test firing of short-range artillery from an island near his country's disputed maritime border with South Korea. It draws a protest from Seoul for violating an agreement between the two countries' militaries. Experts believe this is more than muscle flexing from the dictator. It could well be a reflection of the growing pressure they say he's under to stand up to the U.S. Because of his failure to get concessions and sanctions relief, he is under extreme internal pressure. And so he must demonstrate his military strength uh, and resolve to his own military and to his own elite. North Korea's state-run news agency says the military unit which conducted this drill was, quote, boiling with glory, joy, and ecstasy from receiving the great historic leader. A volleyball exhibition was staged, an all-female military band performed. And in one of several class photos, Kim is in the middle of dozens of female soldiers, many of whom are openly crying. We've seen many pictures like this, and women crying, even men crying. And we should remember that... Koreans only get ahead in the North by demonstrating personal loyalty to Kim Jong-un. These tears, whether they are real or fake, uh, are an attempt to demonstrate that personal loyalty. He's almost this mythical, untouchable kind of godlike leader. And so that's why you want to see this kind of hysteria around him when people have the opportunity to see him and meet him. Analysts say the bizarre photo ops and the artillery drill are part of a pattern of recent smaller scale provocations from North Korea, which includes several short range missile tests and hostile and threatening statements directed at the U.S., all reflecting a much larger frustration felt by Kim Jong un. Kim's regime has given President Trump and his team until the end of this year to make more progress on a nuclear weapons deal. Experts say if that doesn't happen, North Korea could go back to testing nuclear warheads and long-range missiles. If this all goes south in a couple of months and we blow past this self-imposed deadline the North Koreans have offered, we have to assume that we're facing a far more capable, more angry and dangerous North Korea than we were looking at two years ago.